Hi everyone, Jess here and today I'm joined with Ismihan Anderson. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. So firstly, with technology evolving so rapidly, how do you ensure you don't lag behind? Is there ever a way of truly future-proofing innovation? Okay, uh, so we try our best. So what we have done is we have uh, dedicated an innovation team for this task so that they are always uh, keeping their hands on uh, stuff. Uh, and uh, we are visiting seminars such as uh, like this a lot. Uh, and also we are working along with startups uh, and uh, companies from other industries as well who might have gone through the same experience. So we try to share knowledge and experience with the outside uh, people. Uh, and also we look up to our ecosystem as well. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And one place we're seeing some great innovation is in the automation space. So where are we seeing this have the greatest impact in terms of airport operations? And how do you see this evolving into the future? Uh, at the moment, I think uh, today uh, data is available and it is possible to, uh, you know, uh, structure that data, make it visual, create insights from uh, this data. Uh, so uh, having a common data platform in the ecosystem helps us to improve the operation efficiency, communication, collaboration, uh, and indirectly impacting the. Uh, passenger uh, experience as well. Uh, another one is biometrics. Although society has not accepted the biometrics fully yet, I think uh, with the immigration control it really helped us a lot. We are a very congested airport uh, and we need space uh, and those uh, gates take up less space compared to the classic counters and because they are not meant they can work 724 and passengers really asking us now to put more in place uh, for that i think these are the top technologies that are helping us at the moment and in the future they will expand as well uh, so it will be good yeah fantastic mm -hmm. and you've touched on some really interesting ones with automation and biometrics are there any other tech or innovations that you think are going to have the greatest potential to transform the industry? Uh, yes, I think so. This is actually my dream. I'm a bit dreamer. Uh, <laughs> in the next, I think, coming 10 years, I see that, uh, you know, apron, the airfield, fully autonomous, you know, all the uh, equipment driving themselves, uh, robots are working along with humans, uh, collaborating on while uh, loading the baggage or you know uh, doing the catering service uh, and everything. Uh, so uh, 5G, uh, which is going to help with the communication because for autonomous driving and uh, for uh, robots to operate, you need the real time. Uh, and with a minimum latency uh, network. Uh, so 5G is going to help us with that one. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, and you said you're a dreamer and this is, <laughs> this is a bit of a dream into the future. But do you have any idea of how long it's going to take before we're really seeing these technologies harness their full potential? Uh, I think we, we, we still need uh, time because uh, first of all, the technology uh, has to be affordable for this. Uh, and there should be the use cases, more use cases, uh, and also the user needs to be adopted to adopt these technologies, embrace these technologies as well. A bit of change management, uh, and when we say robotics, people are a bit scared of losing their jobs as well. Uh, and I think they need to change in a way that they collaborate with this, actually, uh, the, the, they shall be skilled up to use these technologies, then they will keep their jobs. Uh, so we, we need some time to do that. Yeah. yeah so a lot of it is, is around mindset as well yeah, as the, yeah, actual, exactly. the technology itself. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your insights. Thank you for your time, interest. Thank you.